two named lecture recipients deserve a big congratulations for their significant discoveries and achievements in hematology. The E. Donald Thomas lecture was delivered by Dr. Connie Eves, who discussed the simple concept, yet complex reality, of blood stem cells. Key advances in hematopoietic stem cell research are showing that it's possible to identify critical molecular features of normal and abnormal human cells with defined growth properties by performing different assessments on single cells with matched surface phenotypes. What we've learned in the last uh, couple of decades is that cells that can reconstitute a blood forming system are, can be much more heterogeneous. We don't know yet exactly how that heterogeneity is controlled, how reversible it is or malleable it is, and what its relevance is to the future of expanding cells that will be used for transplants or manipulating cells in people with small molecules or understanding leukemia. But I think this knowledge base is a very important entree into this uh, exciting future. For the Ernest Boitler Lecture, doctors Alan DeAndrea and Neil Young outlined major advances in bone marrow failure from the perspective of both basic science and translational research. A few decades ago, little was known of aplastic anemia beyond a poor prognosis and limited treatments. Now, acquired aplastic anemia is effectively treated with marrow replacement, immunosuppressive therapies, and more recently, with a stem cell stimulating drug. The long story is uh, immunosuppressive therapy being effective in addition to uh, the, uh, the utility of bone marrow transplant, and most recently, uh, the capacity to actually stimulate directly hematopoietic stem cells in patients with bone marrow failure. There's recent uh, FDA approval of a combination therapy for stem cell uh, regeneration in combination with standard immunosuppression, which has proven to be effective in our NIH studies. Dr. DeAndrea, who has contributed significantly to the cloning of the genes for Fanconi anemia over the last 30 years, described the molecular basis of inherited bone marrow failure syndromes and emerging opportunities for novel therapies. The encoded proteins work together in a very novel pathway. It's a, a pathway that entails the repair of DNA damage. So we learned a lot about the proteins that are involved in the Fanconi anemia pathway, and now we can use these proteins and the biomarkers of this pathway to understand better the cause and treatment of aplastic anemia and cancer in the general population.